wouldn't dig if you can't get you to come down. Give me one second. There we go. That's just too giant. For now. For right now. But, uh, yes. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry for taking so much time to do this. So let's put this in the right place. Where will my eyeballs find? Here we are. I thought I'd shed a little more light into the situation here, what we're doing. Okay. Um, here we are in Matthew 6, 22 through 23, of course. Sorry, we got uh, four and a five. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, thine I be single, if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. All right, well, anyways, that's uh, 23 represents a 5. That's our body. It's it's, our, it's the body part of the brethren. Now, uh, what we have to really understand is this, the, the word, this darkness, this darkness, the darkness actually means um, the intellect, all right? On those four businesses that we use to actually decode the Bible, the four kingdoms, right? The four kingdoms, it goes father, this is father and mother, and then you, and then heaven, all right? That's basically how that goes this would be uh, the mind this is this is black uh, mother is red the uh, the you are bruised color or pale physical the physical side and then we have white those are the four colors that's the four horsemen for everything all right those are the four that we use to work with darkness when they say that he's brought us out of Israel, I'm not out of Israel, but out of Egypt. Egypt means the it's the it's a man it's the land of black. It's the darkness. It's a lot darkness. This is just the even in the code of the Bible, the idea is is that he's brought you out of darkness. Okay, he's brought you, you know, he's brought you into the light. Okay, and in our Bible, that's what that's what they're talking about is that the the eye, if our eye be pure, plural, you know, that's the inside of us. Because, you know, when when two or three are gathered together in his name, then that doesn't mean two or three or five people. It doesn't mean anything like that. It has to do with when you are going into meditation, Jesus would be in the midst. And it's when you're going in his name, okay, because this, this is, you know, a particular place that we're trying to we're, we're we're we are archers in a way you know and we are hunting and we're trying to capture a particular spot inside of us with an arrow and so uh anyways all of that aside this is where we get pinned on as being new age when it's right here in our own bible this is not talking about, if you, if you have darkness inside of you, this is cool. I mean, it's not cool, but it's, uh, it shows that you're doing the works. It shows you haven't hooked up with God yet. It shows that you're spiritually dead. That's, that's all, basically, that's what it means. You won't get this light. This light here is this idea that uh, this is your pineal gland right up in here, and that when you turn that on, this ignites the uh, right side of our brain, and this is a, a particular frequency of delta that turns us on, turns the light on. And then once it's on, it's on all the time. Okay, this, 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 this is the, our promise. And that this is our shield. This is what shields us. This is what makes us one of God's elects, elect. Also turns us into prophets. It also turns us into saints. Because now we have this little glow about the top, but the idea is is that we're connected with God. God's inside of us. The tabernacle of God is with us now, where it wasn't before. And so <clears throat> we went off on a we uh, were we had the, the first ruler as father, 
he rules over us first. And while we have him, we don't have our soul and we can't find mother. We can't do this. So none of these things work. These two things are gone because father and this replacement mother, for her, the moon, comes between us and God, is, is, is our role model. And so and we absolutely love her and adore her in some ways. We, um, and if you don't, you, you know, you abhor her. But anyways, they say that if you know your mother, then you know the whore. You're you're known as a you know you know, you're a whore because she's a replacement mom. All right, she's the wife, and she has to do with you know you're getting married and becoming one with a lower level something other than a mother. You know, because, and she's also a foreigner. This wife, this woman that you take on, spiritually speaking, is an outsider altogether. That's why she's the strange woman. All the rest of the people in our stories are brothers, brethren, brothers, sisters, you know, stuff like that. These are people in the family. That's the family, you know. So what is an outside source is religion, the idea that you have to go seek outside of yourself for God, for comfort, for her, and not go to the real source, which is to jump inside of us in the midst. That's where we're supposed to go because heaven is inside of us and is outside of us. It has a container. You and me are the container for for both sides. God, God is both uh, creates both, you know, good and evil light and darkness and it just happens that <clears throat> we are this particular um go between he, we are how g how god gets anything done on earth it's how the devil gets anything done on earth it's it's just that you know after you've had your time with father you know once you've run around growing your hair with father do you cut it off Give it as a, some kind of a, of a, you know, wave offering and uh, connect to God, you know. And it's just something that you do on the inside of us, not on the outside. <clears throat> Go turn your light on. It's all about that. All right. It's just beautiful. Everything, all these references have to do with going inside, finding what's going on. It's called tilling, tilling the earth, you know. Going, that's lo looking for water, you know, that's what, that's what we're looking for. We're looking to take care of our thirst. We're wanting also to learn the truth, and that has to do with fish, you know. And this is, uh, Jesus is the, the way, he is uh, life, he's the truth. So we want you, you know, discover that this is actually your soul that Jesus is representing, that you need to obey God's command, honor mother and father, and let his people go. Let his soul, let the soul, let God's people, let the soul is God's person, all right? If the skin ain't allowed in, only the soul, and the soul is our child. Let his, let that child go. That's, let him go and hang out in heaven, all right? He'll, he'll help bless you. Let what's inside of you out and you will live. Right? Come out of the darkness. That's what God is saying. I brought you out of Egypt. I brought you from the land of black, the darkness, into the light. I hope you got something out of this. All right? I love you guys. Best to you. Serious. Go out there. Turn the light on. Go in there and turn the light.